Hi, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanna show you three ways that you can reset your Samsung family hub screen without flipping the breaker or pulling the power cord from behind the refrigerator. The reason you may want to reboot or restart this screen is in the event that the screen's not being quite responsive as it once was before, meaning you're having to tap icons multiple times or swipe multiple times as the screen's not registering those inputs. There are three ways, as I mentioned. You have a manual switch, there's options in the settings, and a secret menu that I'll show you how to access. So first, let's start by just restarting from the settings menu. So if you swipe down, hit settings, scroll down to the about family hub, this will allow you to get the status, reset, and legal information about the hub. So once you're in the About Family Hub, scroll down to the Restart and Reset. So the options you have here is a simple restart. You can restart your family hub. You can reset the network settings in the event that the Wi-Fi is not working properly or you can't connect to the access points. Try that. And then the third option here is a factory data reset. I would use that option as a last resort because what that's going to do is it's going to reset this entire hub back to day one as you just purchased it off the showroom floor. So all of your settings will go back to default. So you'll have to reconfigure all your apps, all your Wi-Fi passwords, everything to get this back up and running. So use that as a last resort. But as I mentioned, you can simply do a restart. You'll get prompted, tap restart to restart your family hub. Hit restart. The screen should go blank and then reboot. That should take care of any of the issues with the screen not being responsive. That's an easy fix. But what if as, as we mentioned, you can't navigate very well. You can't get through those settings. So there is a manual switch. The manual switch is right here on the top of the door. It's easier if we just open it up, let's do that. So when you open up the refrigerator door, you'll see this access panel. Simply put a little pressure in and then pull up that will reveal this red toggle switch here. Currently it's in the down or on position. All you need to do is flip it up and that will cut power to the hub. Now it's recommended that you wait approximately two minutes before turning it back on. So after the two minutes is up, press it in the down or on position Use the little tab in the rear. And there you go. So that second option is the one I would highly recommend because you don't have to swipe the screen to access the settings menu and navigate because you're already having that issue with the screens. So it's just much easier to remove that access panel, flip that switch, wait two minutes, flip it back on, good to go. So that third option I wanted to show you was that secret menu. So to access that menu, on the bottom of the screen here, you have five icons. The second icon, which is your, your recent apps, it also looks like two squares or two pages split. If you press and hold for 10 seconds, this will grant you access into that secret menu. And there we go, we have our system rescue mode. So there's four options. You have your correct file systems, factory data reset. As we know, we wanna use it as a last resort because it's gonna wipe out all your custom configurations. You have software update, which you can also do through the settings menu, or you can just simply cancel the system rescue mode and reboot. That's what we're gonna do, reboot. And there you have it. Your family hub has been reset. Your screen should be responsive once again. 
all of those errors that you were having trying to navigate or click at should be resolved. So if you find value in this video, please subscribe, comment, give it a like. Till next time, we'll see you.